Welcome everybody, you are watching Friday Review. How much is customer experience costing your business? So, usually before we start these videos, me and Andy will discuss, okay, what's been coming up in the week today? What sort of things should we talk about for Mindset Monday? But today, Andy has just come out with a bit of a rant as to say, customer experience. <laughs> Absolutely. Why aren't people delivering fantastic customer experience? Do they not see the value of the ongoing value the customer experience brings to the business. Let's talk about these then, Andy. Come on, you just had a little rant at me then. So <laughs> bring it in on camera, what have you got to say? Uh, you know, the, the really interesting thing is in, in three separate instances with three separate companies over the past three weeks, yeah. um, I've got into this place where there's been a massive case of um, actually over promise and under deliver. And you know, um, I've gone from being no, okay, not an advocate or a raving fan of these companies by any stretch of the imagination, but not um, nothing to complain about. To now thinking they're absolutely bloody useless, quite frankly. Yeah. Um, because you know I've ended up spent burning hours on the phone, been on the phone to each of them six or seven times over the past couple of weeks trying to resolve a problem, which was actually. Uh, made clear to them and explained very, very early on, maybe a month ago in some cases, and I'm still waiting for a, an acceptable resolution. Now, I'm not a particularly difficult customer. Um, I'm pretty articulate when I put a challenge across and I'm getting um, promises which are not being fulfilled left, right and centre. What is my perception of those businesses now? Mm -hmm. So what's the outcome? What's the outcome for these companies? Well, the outcome is essentially, you know, I'm sure I'm not the only person yeah. who's experiencing this poor customer service. So what's the next thing that I logically do and anybody else who's experiencing poor customer service? vote with their feet right yeah go find somebody else to do business with who looks like they care about you exactly yeah um so so for me you know it's we dis well, i see it all the time people disappearing into their internal processes bringing me excuses back i had this great i, I had this great one the other day where um we'll phone you within half an hour and three hours later i was still waiting and when i phoned them to say well look i'm only going to be available for the next 10 minutes oh well our system went down okay I get your system, there's, there's a system challenge and there's a very clear expectations management thing here. Pick up the phone after 28 minutes and say, I know we said we'd get back to you within half an hour. We've currently got a system challenge. You'll have to bear with us. It's fine now. Waiting three hours, mm. not so much. Yeah. These yeah. are pretty simple system tweaks that could just placate people, manage people's expectations, and stop them going off on one like I currently am. Well, the thing is though, Andy, is that these companies that you're talking about, without mentioning any names, these are medium to large organizations they are. that are carrying out this sort of unsatisfactory customer service. Yep. But it also leaves, for the smaller businesses now, it leaves a big a pot of gold really of because you can see how it's supposed to be done properly and how people want to be treated if the larger organizations have problems with their their management teams and how they engage their staff to help in customer service yeah then perhaps the smaller organizations go hold on a minute this is how not to do it That's this is right. how we're going to serve customers better and this is what you see like more startup companies coming up and going right okay we're solving the problem now we're, we're not going to do this for our customers yep. we're going to make sure they get fantastic customer experiences over and over so there's a pot of gold there for small businesses so when you're working with your clients then and they come up with these sort of these challenges that you see what you're just speaking about there what, what do you what do you do how do you help them be better well, I think the thing is, you know, um, most businesses haven't actually mapped out their customer journey. Yeah. So if we put, turn that into a process and start looking at it in terms of, okay, well, look, how do we make sure we deliver exactly what we say we're going to deliver? And then how do we wrap around it some small touches or small um, elements in the process which make people go, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the wow. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. the, little, the little wows rather than the big, oh. You know, and, and for me, none of those things are complex to do or achieve um, and very easy to build into a process, yet so many people just miss out on what the key aspects are. Nobody buys your product or service because 
loads of people do your products or service everybody buys the experience around your product or service so why isn't it a1 how far are you going to take your business the content you're learning in this video is only the tip of the iceberg if you're ready to take your business to the next level and start implementing the right strategies that are right for you then now is the time to book your complimentary coaching session in the session we explore what strategies will get you to where you want to be in the most effective way possible book your coaching session today call 01527 757 910 or visit goodtograit.actioncoach.co.uk